This video presents the pearls and pitfalls of anatomical reduction and secure fixation in osteochondritis dissecans of the knee. After anterolateral and anteromedial portals are established, diagnostic arthroscopy is performed. The lesion is identified based on the arthroscopic appearance of the cartilage, and its stability is tested with an arthroscopic hook. Once the lesion is delineated, the lesion is hinged open with a smiley meniscotome, leaving one side attached to avoid losing the fragment in the joint. The hinged lesion is then detached using a blunt instrument. The subchondral bone is exposed, and all the sclerotic tissue is debrided and removed using a motorized burr and a curette. The backside of the fragment is also debrided of sclerosis. After the subchondral bed is prepared, microfractures are created to increase vascularity to the OCD fragment and promote bone healing. After the debridement and microfracture steps, the fragment is reduced, and any overlapping cartilage that prohibited anatomical reduction of the fragment has to be trimmed. The chondral fragment and subsequent subchondral bone are then drilled with a 2.4 mm arthroscopic drill. A bioabsorbable nail is inserted, and the nail is buried in the cartilage to prevent opposing cartilage wear. Three other bioabsorbable nails are inserted in this case to provide compression and rotational stability. Finally, the fixation status is checked to ensure that nails are not protruding, which can cause cartilage wear.